Uh, just like this. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Now we are speaking about must-read books or find it in a book. With me this morning, it's Leon George, who is on my right, and uh, Kayande Devonish, who are the co-founders of Find It in a Book. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Thank you for having us. All right. So what is, what is this Find It in a Book thing about? Find It in a Book is Kayande's and I healthy obsession and love for books that we converted into an online bookstore and wow. more so a community for all of our book lovers in Trinidad and Tobago. So our aim is to help young adults like ourselves live a more purposeful and meaningful life with a little help from our personal development books. Personal development books, no, no that's a, a big thing. Um, I'd say with mill millennials now, you know, we, us young people, we're looking for answers and we're looking for a means by which to, to learn outside of, you know, a school, a classroom and things like that. So uh, why specifically these personal development books? Why, why that? Well, as our name states, find it in a book. The it that you're going to find is yourself. You're going to find a I better see. self. You're going to find the knowledge that these authors would have studied other um, leaders in the, from in the past. And they would have said, OK, these are the, this is their positives and negatives. And we could use this to develop our mind, develop our just way of life to get the life that you would like to achieve. So in terms of personal development books, finance, business development books, whether you want to you know, effective, effectively communicate your point across or just develop your personal brand, these are all the kind of books that we kind of focus on in terms of developing yourself as a leader, developing yourself as a person, or just somebody who wants to lead a more purposeful life. Definitely, definitely. Now, uh, you mentioned earlier, Leon, that you, know, you both have an obsession for books, but uh, how did Find It in a Book come into existence? Fine, it's another book came into existence through a very hilarious story where we both ended up purchasing the same book, you know. Just like what Kayande said, it's the missing piece you go out and you look for. Right. So I went out today looking for a missing piece and I ended up buying a book. Now Kayande bought the same book and then right. eventually we were like, guys, why do we have two of the same book? Let's sell the other book. <laughs> now upon reading the book, which is John by Steve Harvey, we realized that, wow, this book has encouraged us to take action with respect to this online bookstore. Right, so and more so, we had each other to discuss ideas and to bring things into life. And we realized that there may be persons who are reading books and they don't have people to discuss it with, they don't have right. a community. So, Find It in a Book is more than a bookstore or a store, it's a community where people feel comfortable and safe to say, Okay, I can read these are my ideas, let me share my ideas. And this is our way of making reading cool and fun again because reading is cool and reading is more so a necessity. Definitely, I mean, <laughs> I myself like books. I I need to catch up on some of my reading because I, I get quite a few of those personal development books myself to, you know, help expand my knowledge and these things. But how valuable is it to be able to be, like, have a community to speak about it, to exchange ideas and uh, what each person may get from these books? Very good point. For example, do you watch Game of Thrones? Right yes, now? I had watched the entire thing. Right, <laughs> and we've seen a lot of persons, they form their cliques, so like they have their ideas. It should have gone this, it should have ended like this. Right. And the, you see the passion and the vigor when people are discussing these movies, scandal, whether it be power. So why not have a place where you could even discuss these professional development books? The, when you get an idea, when I get an idea, I don't want to keep it to myself. I want to share it with my friends. I want to be like, wow, this book spoke to me. That's actually changed my life. And I want to share that with somebody. What did you learn from this book? I can learn from the book, and I can also learn from somebody else who got another idea from the book. Right. So this is what you kind of want to promote in terms of reading the books and not just keeping it inside of yourself. You're feeling so excited. After I read a good, a very good book that actually mm -hmm. changes my life, I want to share it with everyone. I call mm -hmm. Lee Lee. I would send Lee pictures of the book, <laughs> highlight everything. Like, this is us. Like, we need to, like, mm -hmm. instill it in our lives. And I would want to share that and have a place where I can go and sit and say, what did you learn from um, Jump? What did you learn from The Secrets? You know, right. these, all these kind of books. So that is why we said we have no space where we can go and discuss these books, these ideas that we get, and it's what the book community is about. Definitely, we, definitely. We, we do have a saying where we say no selfish readers allowed. If you're <laughs> reading, if you're reading a book from Fanny, it's in a book. Right. I think it's your duty to share the insights that you would have gained because life is a cycle. So whatever you learn from one book, you could share it with three other persons, right? And the cycle could continue and continue. So it's more so of a book club than mm -hmm. just an online bookstore. It's definitely both, but um, we like to call it an online bookstore. A book com lovers community and a movement because you always say that Find It in a Book is not just me, myself, or Kayandi. Find right. It in a Book is every single book lover who is interested in bettering themselves, who is interested in personal development. Find It in a Book is you. Now, in this day and age, uh, everything is so fast paced and everything is, you know, at the, the tap of a screen or like the click of a button. Uh, how do you encourage young people, especially, to pick up a paperback book? 
and actually read it rather than you know scrolling through something mindlessly yes well we focus on physical books because that's what we love part of the online um the book community all are welcome whether it's audio books whether it's um you will yeah, listen to it while while you're going to work in the car but for me personally i don't drive to work every day so if i'm on the bus or i'm on the maxi i literally that hour i'm spending in the maxi i sit down and i read my book when i come back home so that's two hours at least i spend reading in well, some persons they listen to their music which is okay but when people say i have no time to read that's not a priority because right. you lunch time when i'm eating my lunch i'm there reading my book <laughs> like every, i'm in the line in the bank which takes forever in school so right. sometimes i'm there let's not call names oh, sorry <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my yeah so um yes yeah, so i'm sitting there and i'm like i'm here already for so long let me just read a book while i'm sitting just waiting i am b um, bettering myself right so it's like physical books is easy to just have when i'm on my phone i get distracted from emails i get distracted from calls or whatsapp message but if i have that book i literally don't close it until i end the chapter and let me before we close let me ask you some personal questions what are your favorite personal development books my favorite personal development books would have book would have to be the secret by Rhonda Byrne. Um, that book is a book I feel like every single person, no matter where you are in life, should definitely read, right? Because it speaks about mindset and manifestation. And if I may quote just one line from the book, sure. the fact that all of your thoughts, or, or your whole life is a physical manifestation of all of your thoughts. This dress that I wore today, right? This watch on my hand. Every single thing starts from here. Definitely. And you, Kai? And for me, my favorite book right now that I'm reading is Start With Why by Simon Sinek. So this book basically says everything you do, you start with a purpose. You don't just do things just because. Why are you doing this? What is your end product? Who do you want to impact? Who do you want to, you know, change a life with whatever product, whatever you're doing, even at work? Why are you doing this? Not just because of the money, but what are you trying to instill? What are you trying to, are you trying to change the culture? Are you trying to better yourself, better the company? So what my favorite line is you either, you influence people by either manipulating them or inspiring them. So everything I try to do, I try to say, how can I help someone else? How can I, can I inspire you to be better? How can I inspire you to you know, develop your mind to just live a more purposeful, purposeful life? Uh, that is exactly the, the, the nail on the head there. I couldn't agree more. How do people get into contact with you before we close off? Persons can contact us by going to our Instagram page at Find It In A Book TT, our Facebook page, Find It In A Book, or you can send us an email at finditinabooktt at gmail.com. I want to thank you so much, Leon George and Kayande Devonish, mm -hmm. co-founders of Find It In A Book. Uh, for joining us this morning and with that when we're just going to call it a wrap we're going to take a short break and come back with much more stay with us